Hey, what's up everyone? It's Paul here. Um, back with a, a bit of a different video. Uh, this one is going to be a Rust-based tutorial. Uh, it's kind of based off the po popular 1x2, uh, or not 1x2, 1x1. Uh, um, that has been kind of going around recently within like the past month or so. Uh, this is just like my own personal convention on it. I don't, I'm not really like a Rust god or whatever, so I don't know if it's like maximizing the correct amount of space or whatever. But um, this is just what I found interesting and fun to build. Um, relatively low cost. Um, I'll go through each kind of like stage of expansion uh, with it. And um, yeah, let's get to it. Yeah, so as you guys can see, this is just a uh, square foundation with a triangle. Actually, let me do this. So it's actually pretty easy. So what you want to do, it's a cool trick. You can do this. You want to build it close to the ground. And then you want to do half walls. Like this. So that way, whenever people are kind of walking past or whatever, they'll just think you built your foundation like this like that they won't really, really they will not be able to tell the difference um, then what you want to do is you want to go up here do this oh. it's gonna be a bit of a hassle moving around All right. do this 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 um, then a cool trick you can do is, so once you get your, let's say you got your chests, um, you'll need your bed, furnace, and a uh, small chest along with a tool cupboard. Uh, so you want to place your chest down first. You want to do it like uh, how I am doing it right here. We're going to make sure that they are cl as close as possible to each other. So we're going to maximize the amount of space in the room. Then you want to get the smaller box, like this, 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 and then you can flip it, like there. There you go. So you have uh, one, two, three, like five small boxes, one large box of storage just in one room. Um, obviously, there'll be more to come as the base expands. Uh, then you want to move over here. And this is going to be kind of hard because uh, you kind of have to, like, clip it weird but you can fit um, three furnaces in here so let me try to do it there you go so now you have three you can put whatever you want in there um, yeah and then so once that's done you want to do this you and then you want to get your tool cupboard Oh, well, hold on. So, you want to get your tool cupboard and place it like. Want to make sure it's like. This is gonna be kind of hard, but you can, you want to ah, fuck me. Place it like No, that's not good. Bear with me. So you wanna make sure you're using the little like tile lines here so you can make sure it's lined up. Once you got that done you can place your bag to actually yeah, you can place your bag down however you want. Um, so yeah, so this this is like the step one of the base um, complete. Obviously, you can put uh, doors here and then be your airlock. Um, you can put roof here, whatever, or uh, ceiling. And that's kind of like uh, the first iteration of the base. Then you want to move over. So once you kind of like done that, this will be like your first expansion here. Um, what you so what this is basically is just the normal base and then you want to build basically just foundations around it um, for example so this is 
square, um, three squares here, and then everything else is a uh, triangle foundation. But then you're gonna want to like uh, diagonally put a square foundation here, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Um, you're also gonna want to put a window found uh, window wall here, and then uh, doorway here, and then everything else uh, half half wall. And so yeah, you kind of need to um, like step two and three kind of need to be done all in like one go. Because if you just kind of like leave this out in the open, people will just like maybe raid you or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, submit. So that's like step two. You want to move over to step three. This is like the final kind of like building plan, basically, the layout. So what you actually so with these half walls, you can place um, floors in between them. So you'll do that, and this basically what this will do is. You'll have to crawl around the base, pretty much, but it can give you a lot more storage down here. So, like, let's say you want to put, um, like, more chests down here or whatever. You can totally do that. Um, yeah, and then you can use this to shoot that out of or whatever. Um, here, let me actually show you. So, yeah. Um, so you want to put those two uh, floors right here. Um, this will act as, like, a kind of jumping point to get onto your second floor. Um, you want to put a short wall here. This just helps in case there are door campers right here. Um, if you open this door and you get shot, they can't. Um, your body will be safe. You also can like crawl down. Like see if you're crawled, you can chill. As if this wall wasn't here, they'd still be able to shoot you. Uh, but yeah, and this is a little bit added uh, safety. Uh, this is a door frame for a garage door or a double door, whichever you prefer. Same thing here. Um, over here is going to be like your storage area, research. Uh, workbench stuff um, and then right here is going to be a window i'll show you in a little bit um, but yeah this will just let you shoot um, safely from like an airlock um, in case people are door camping you or you're getting raided uh, let's go over here this is the final part of the base i left this open so i can kind of show you guys what it's like so yeah you have your normal like kind of uh starter area come down here you put a you can put whatever here but i chose a workbench because it's just more convenient for me um yeah you'll put something here so that it'll let you step up into here a bit easier i uh, just walk in there um you'll notice that i put the uh, metal enclosure around it along with metal bars because i just think they look nice um then so what you want to do is you also want to change not change add a door way here um, what this does basically is allow you to have like another kind of layer of security like a, kind of like an airlock within your base for example um, let's say someone breaks in through this door um, they can only really shoot at you from here or um, they can't really do much either they're kind of like trapped in this little area uh, which gives you you can come in from here there, there, like, they won't expect you. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's like the kind of normal area over here. Um, you can come over here. Um, I put my bed here. Obviously, you don't have to put your bed here. Um, this is how I like it. Uh, research, workbench, storage, and then an uh, alchemy table. I put garage doors here. Um, Right here, you can, like I said, you can, there's still st uh, space for storage, let's say. You want to put all your, like, your ammo and stuff here, and you can do that. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much wraps it. Um, here, let's, let's see how much upkeep this whole thing costs. Obviously, you can change it to metal or stone or whatever. Uh, only 2.5k stone and... Barely 300, not even 300 metal uh, metal frags per 24 hours. It's actually pretty well. Um, the central TC is well protected with, I think that's about, let me see. So TC's right here. That's like one, two, three. There's a fuck ton of rockets to get there. Yeah, you're, you're fucking fine, bro. This shit is literally insane. Obviously, you can expand it however you, however you want. Um, you can honeycomb it as well. Uh, but this is just something that I kind of cooked up on the fly, uh, that I regularly, regularly use, and uh, it's worked pretty well for me uh, for the past couple wipes, and I hope it'll work 
well for you guys. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.